Hey, second grade boys and girls, it's Miss Settles with you again today. On day two of your packet, you were asked to read a book from home and describe one of the characters. So a book that I had at home that I wanted to share with you is called The True Story of the Three Little Pigs. As you're listening to me read this story, I want you to think about how you would describe our main character, the wolf, in this story. Everybody knows the story of the three little pigs, or at least they think they do, but I'll let you in on a little secret. Nobody knows the real story because nobody has ever heard my side of the story. I'm the wolf, Alexander T. Wolf. You can call me Al. I don't know how this whole big bad wolf thing got started, but it's all wrong. Maybe it's because of our diet. Hey, it's not my fault. Wolves eat cute little animals like bunnies and sheep and pigs. That's just the way we are. If cheeseburgers were cute, folks would probably think you were big and bad too. But like I was saying, the whole big bad wolf thing is all wrong. The real story is about a sneeze and a cup of sugar. This is the real story. Way back in once upon a time, time, I was making a birthday cake for my dear old granny. I had a terrible sneezing cold. I ran out of sugar. So on that page, I thought about a way to describe the wolf. I think that page describes him as being kind. And what did he do that made me think he was kind? Well, he was making a birthday cake for his granny, so I think that shows us that he is kind. Let's keep reading. So I walked down the street to ask my neighbor for a cup of sugar. Now, this neighbor was a pig, and he wasn't too bright either. He had built his whole house out of straw. Can you believe it? I mean, who in his right mind would build a house of straw? On that page, I feel like the author was telling me that the wolf was smart. Another word for smart is clever. He shows me that he's smart because he knows that you shouldn't build a house out of straw. Now, if you don't have sticky notes to write your words on that describe your character, you can just simply write it down on a piece of paper and stick it in your book. So of course, the minute I knocked on the door, it fell right in. I didn't want to just walk into someone else's house, so I called, little pig, little pig, are you in? No answer. I was just about to go home without my cup of sugar for my dear old granny's birthday cake. That's when my nose started to itch. I felt a sneeze coming on. Well, I huffed and I snuffed and I sneezed a great sneeze. And you know what? The whole straw house fell down and right in the middle of the pile of straw was the first little pig, dead as a doornail. He had been home the whole time. It seemed like a shame to leave a perfectly good ham dinner lying there in the straw, so I ate it up. Think of it as a big cheeseburger just lying there. I was feeling a little better, but I still didn't have my cup of sugar, so I went to the next neighbor's house. This neighbor was the first little pig's brother. He was a little smarter, but not much. He had built his house of sticks. I rang the bell on the stick house. Nobody answered. I called, Mr. Pig, Mr. Pig, are you in? He yelled back, go away, wolf. You can't come in. I'm shaving the hairs on my chinny chin chin. I had just grabbed the doorknob when I felt another sneeze coming on. I huffed and I snuffed and I tried to cover my mouth, but I sneezed a great sneeze. And you're not going to believe it, but this guy's house fell down just like his brother's. When the dust cleared, there was the second little pig, dead as a doornail, wolf's honor. So I think on this page, I would describe our wolf as being misunderstood. He didn't mean to blow down the house. It was just an accident when he sneezed. So he seems misunderstood. 
Now, you know food will spoil if you just leave it out in the open. So I did the only thing there was to do. I had dinner again. Think of it as a second helping. I was getting awfully full, but my cold was feeling a little better. And I still didn't have that cup of sugar for my dear old granny's birthday cake. So I went to the next house. This guy was the first and second little pig's brother. He must have been the brains of the family. He had built his house of bricks. I knocked on the brick house, no answer. I called, Mr. Pig, Mr. Pig, are you in? And do you know what that rude little porker answered? Get out of here, wolf, don't bother me again. Talk about impolite. He probably had a whole sack full of sugar and he wouldn't give me even one little cup for my dear sweet old granny's birthday cake. What a pig. I was just about to go home and maybe make a nice birthday card instead of a cake when I felt my cold coming on. I huffed and I snuffed and I sneezed once again. Then the third little pig yelled, and your old granny can sit on a pen. Now, I'm usually a pretty calm fellow, but when somebody talks about my granny like that, I go a little crazy. When the cops drove up, of course I was trying to break down the pig's door. And the whole time I was huffing and puffing and sneezing and making a real scene. The rest, as they say, is history. The news reporters found out about the two pigs I had for dinner. They figured a sick guy going to borrow a cup of sugar didn't sound very exciting. So they jazzed up the story with all of that huff and puff and blow your house down. And they made me the big bad wolf. That's it, the real story. I was framed. But maybe you could loan me a cup of sugar? So boys and girls, that was a fun story that I enjoyed reading to you. And we described the wolf in our story as being kind because he was gonna make his granny a cake. We described him as misunderstood because he didn't mean to blow down the house. It was an accident when he sneezed. And then we also described him as being smart or clever because he knew that you couldn't build a house out of straw or sticks. So I hope you enjoy reading your book at home today, and I hope you think of ways to describe your character.